The boundaries of the femoral triangle have been illustrated on this subject. The lateral border is bounded by sartorius muscle which extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the medial border of the knee in an oblique fashion. The medial border is bounded by the adductor longus muscle. The cranial or superior border is bounded by the inguinal ligament. In the centre of the femoral triangle lie the femoral vessels. Note how the femoral triangle is orientated obliquely and is situated mostly on the medial aspect of the upper thigh. The lymph nodes of the groin region can be divided into vertical and horizontal groups. The horizontal group is situated in an area banded by the groin crease inferiorly and a line between the pubic tubercle and the anterior superior iliac spine. The vertical group is situated in the femoral triangle and is located in the vicinity of the long saphenous vein. The majority of the horizontal group is situated underneath this subject's undergarment. The vertical and horizontal groups are examined in a systematic fashion with the fingers flat. Small circular motions are made while pressing firmly. Suspicious masses will usually feel firm underneath the fingers and are located deep to the skin. Usually they are entirely painless. Normal lymph nodes in this area are also large and can be often felt in thin or male patients. Small shotty lymph nodes are common in children or individuals who have recently had a viral illness. If there is any uncertainty between abnormal and normal lymph nodes then the best test is often to feel the opposite side.